Hey guys, it's Shannon. So I last left you off with our workshop all drywalled, taped, and mudded. If you'd like to get caught up to where we are now, you can go watch our last episode. I will link that up in the iCards. Now it was finally time to paint. I found this fun paint at the store. It is a ceiling paint that goes on pink, but then it dries white. So when I opened the can, I was a little shocked at the color, but it actually doesn't go on quite that bright. So I went with this paint because we needed something thicker to cover up the green drywall as well as all the taped and mudded spots. And I knew the ceiling paint would be thicker than traditional latex paint, but the pink was actually sort of a bonus. It was nice to see when it was wet and then when it had dried so that we could add another coat on top. So here's us adding another layer of that paint and you can see where the white had dried and then the pink was the new paint going on. All of the foundation and masonry walls also got a coat of watertight paint, not only to create a moisture barrier, but also to freshen up the walls with a fresh coat of white. This brick wall got a nice scrub down with bleach water before it was also painted white. This window got a fresh coat of white paint as well as a frosted glass look for privacy. After the paint sat overnight, I removed the painter's tape and was able to add on the outlet covers. Next, it was time to address these dirty concrete floors. This is actually after it had been swept and mopped twice and it still just was not coming clean so we decided to give it a coat of paint as well. I found this inexpensive can of epoxy seal paint at Walmart. It was only about $25 and I thought for $25 we could just paint the floors quickly. You can see the gray color that I was hoping it would turn out as. Unfortunately, it went on a little more blue than I had hoped and the video doesn't really capture uh, the, the actual color here. In the video it doesn't look so bad, but it really does have a very blue tint, especially when you look at it up against that sheet metal. I went ahead and finished painting out the floor just since I had started it. Using this broom handle on the, the paint roller was actually very nice and made it very easy. And here's a look at the floor with two coats of that paint. So now here is where I need you guys' comments and your opinions. This is our new approach to a floor, are these vinyl tiles that just peel and stick. We picked these two up from Home Depot, and I'd like to know which one you prefer. The one on the left is a charcoal color, whereas the one on the right is a slate color. Which one do you think would look best in this workshop? Another option is just to get another gallon of paint. Bear offers a selection of colors to where we could kind of get a color that we preferred instead of just a pre-mixed one like before. Another big accomplishment was the outside cellar doors. Here's a look at our brand new step that the forms were removed from and then we also completed the cellar doors. So the tops of the doors actually got a really nice metal roofing type top that will help with our waterproofing. Here's a look at the inside of the doors. You can see they're all nicely painted. We had a new hardware and a lock as well as new chains to hold them open and then lots of rubber seal to keep water and moisture out. The stairs also got a new coat of paint. 
And finally, we are finished with the outside and can focus our attention on the inside of the workshop. We did have a, another trip to Home Depot, so that is six trips now if you're counting, as well as a fun trip to Ikea for some accessories for the basement, which will be coming in another episode, so make sure to subscribe. We also added a new member to the family, this nice Canon M50. I started using this camera halfway through this video at about the two minute, five second mark. So let me know your thoughts on the video. If you think it is an improvement, let me know in the comments below. Please make sure to give this video a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button. I do DIY tutorials every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Also hit the bell so you get notified when my videos do go live, and I'll see you all next time. Thanks so much for watching. Bye guys.